Welcome back to AK Academy and the Blazor WebAssembly full client side project course. Today uh, we will implement, we will start working on the login. First, in this video, we will build this UI and only implement the navigation between register and login like this. Then in the next one, we will grant the access token and implement the function of this button. And the third video, we will implement the authentication process by preventing the unauthorized users to access the home page or the plans page to do items, whatever, see how we can implement logout, all, all the functions that are related to authentication after the user gets his access token. So let's get started. So to implement that, the first thing we will do is to go to the Swagger documentation of our API, go to the login endpoint, and here is the check. In the request, it's a post request, we should send this object called login requests, concepts of email and password. Regarding the response, the response is the same of the register. It's a user manager response we have created already, but I have added something new to it called user info. It's basically a dictionary of uh, keys, key string and the uh, values of type string as well just contain the user info such as the ID is a specific value first name last name and the email just to store this information on the client so we can show this on the UI so what we should do is we can go to the shared models add new class let's call it login request Uh, okay, public and the password yeah, like this. Now for the email, I will add required the validations string length fifty and it's an email address for the password we need only this two okay that's good the second step is to go back to the user manager response and add a new property here public dictionary string string user info that's set like this so when we receive the response, the message will contain the access token. If the credentials are correct, a success is true, no errors, the expired date of the access token and the user info is a dictionary that contains the ID of the user, first name, last name, and uh, the email. Close this. Now, the next step is to go to the pages, auth component, and create a new razor component. Add new item, ASP.NET Core razor component, call it login. Like this. Okay. The login component regarding the UI is going to be the same for the register with less fields. So let's set the routing of this to auth slash login. Then to save time, we can go to the register. Copy this till here and paste it here. Okay, like this. So chair.model authentication service, we will create uh, the login function inside this one in the next video. So first we have to change the create account title to login to your account. Okay, we have this message, validator. We don't need the first name, last name. And we don't need the confirm password. Yes, and here we have to change between the login button and the register button like this. Okay, that's it. Here also we have to change the register request into a login request. The model. Here also we need to rename this function from register user to login user 
copy this and paste it here. Ah, okay. Login, user, yes. Okay, now I will just comment this, uh, this piece of code just for now till we implement the login function in the authentication service. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we should, when we click on the register button, we will navigate to the register component and in the register component, when we click the login button, we should navigate to this one. So to implement the navigation, it's a very easy process. First, you should inject this service called Navigation Manager provided by uh, Blazor. It's already built in. Now, here, I will create a function called go to register. Basically, it's just the short line navigate to slash oath slash register. Uh -huh. Now, in the click event of the register button, we can set it to go to register like this. And also in the register as well, we create the same function void go to login navigation manager dot navigate to slash o slash login. Okay, set. okay, set the click event to go to login. Yeah, that was very easy. Now let's start the project and see the output. Ah, showed the message that build failed. Okay, let's rebuild that again. Okay, now it has been built successfully. I can run that. Okay, let's navigate to O slash login. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. Here is the email field password. If I click login, this is the validation. I should type and okay, test dot one two three login. After we click login, we should grant the access token with the user info. Then if I click to register, yeah, this is my register page. If I click login, I can go back to the login page. Yeah. That was nice. Now in the next video, we will implement the function of the login button so we can grant the access token and uh, the user info. So stay tuned.